Hello guys, I'm back with some nerdy stuff about guitar pedals. I prepared a lot of resources for today's episode because we will today reveal some secrets about guitar pedals. So let's begin. If you don't know, my name is Adrian and I run small guitar pedal business in Poland and actually I run this channel to share some nerdy stuff about pedals. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. Let's begin. This is Distortion Plus pedal by MXR and this is Schematics. It's very simple distortion pedal based around one single op amp. And here you can see schematics of MXR micro amp and here's the schematics of DOD 250 and this is uh, Proco Rat. As you see schematics of all those pedals are very similar. So actually are they clones of each other? Are they clones of clones or something like that? So this is schematics of basic non-inverting amplifier. You will find it in any electronics book. So actually all those pedals just using the circuit. This part of circuit regulates our gain. As you see in our pedals we have a potentiometer to regulate gain and also added filtering to remove unwanted frequencies. So yeah, first step in every distortion, amplify the signal. Next in this case we will use hard clipping diode to reduce our headroom. Reducing it will clip our signal and we will hear more distortion. As you see RAT using same circuit with some additional filtering, also we have a tone control and it's also just basic low pass filter. So turning potentiometer will cut our high end. So maybe in fast phase we will find more magic. Uh, actually, nope, uh, it's also basic amplifier. Uh, okay, so maybe big muff. Nope, it's also using basic common emitter amplifier with clipping on two stages and tone is balanced between two low pass and high pass filters. Of course situation is pretty similar with different types of pedals. So for example this PT2399 chip is used in many delay pedals. And also schematics how to use this chip it's also provided by its manufacturer. So you can find it in its datasheet. So yeah, here you can see how this circuit was used in the blue delay. We have a regulation of delay and also feedback fits our delayed signal again to input. So yeah, as you see, it's just another useful block. So are all PT2399 delays just deep blue delay clones? I don't think so. Also in this video, I would like to mention about parts tolerance. Here we can see three 500 kilo ohms potentiometers. As you see, exact value of each it's different. So actually that means even if you're comparing two same pedals, they can sound a bit different, especially ones made from older parts. But yeah, that's unique. So as you see, there's no magic inside any pedal, it's just electronics. For more nerdy stuff about pedals, be sure to subscribe my channel, because I'm preparing a lot of fun things. Cheers!